fam it's your boy asj coming back at you with another one and today we're gonna be tapping in with cocaine cowboys 2 featuring the one and only charles cosby now charles cosby is hailing out of oakland california and back in the day during the early 80s late 80s you could say early 90s that whole period he reached out to the cocaine godmother during her time of incarceration and let's just say nothing short of an adventurous relationship followed so now this is a snippet of him just talking about his life and how he got started and how things were in his neighborhood. And it was some pretty interesting things, man. So get your popcorn, sit back, relax, and be entertained. Cocaine Cowboys 2, Hustling with the Godmother. Let's get it. Years, like when I was like maybe 12, 13 years old, I was like, damn, what was all this money at 10, you know? The money that I was making, that's probably the most that I could have made and the most that I would have made. I mean, you know, for probably years to come. Motherfuckers in my clique, we call money go. That's what we call money, G-O, go. Because with money, you can do anything, but without money, you're stuck. You're on the stop line, you know what I'm saying? So when you got money, you're on the green line. So like I say, we call it go. There were a lot of droughts. Sir. Saying that this brother was ambitious is truly an understatement. Let's keep it going. In the city of Oakland. So if I couldn't get it from one dealer, I would try to go and, and negotiate a deal with another dealer. It's only... <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> it's only so much that you could purchase at that, at that time because there was no large scale dealers in Oakland. The city was basically wide open at that time. I was basically at the top of the food chain in Brookfield Village. When I first heard about Griselda Blanco, I mean, years later, I still had an indelible mark on my brain as far as, you know, how this lady was able to sell such vast amounts of cocaine. I mean, it was just, I was in awe. I was in awe. Man, I hope y'all enjoyed that little piece on Charles Cosby explaining his life story and what made him reach out to the cocaine godmother, Griselda Blanco. And let me know if you want to see more content like this. And as always, stay blessed, stay informed, and stay in your mother lane. Love y'all. Mother.